Whatever it was, it just bit the tail off my lure. <laughs> okay. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go with this one. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Go for this one, see what happens. Hello, welcome to some more LRS fishing on a beautiful autumn day. Finished work a little bit earlier than I thought, so I thought I'd get out here and try a bit of fishing. Um, sun's absolutely shining, a little bit chilly, but nothing too bad. Um, I just thought I'd come fishing and try a new spot I've never tried before, and um, I've come across this big structure. Um, I'm not too sure what it's for, if I'm completely honest. It's, just, it's like a big, like a I don't know, it's like a gate that comes down or something, I don't know. I thought it was a lock at first, but no, it's not. It's something completely different. Something to do with the environmental agency. Uh, but there you go. Um, it doesn't say don't fish off it. There's no sign saying no fishing, so I thought, you know, fish-like structure. Um, it's a big structure. So I thought I'd come in here and give it a go. I've never come across anything like this before, so I don't know what it is, to be honest. But um, this is where I'm fishing. Here you go, look. Straight down there, look at that, it's beautiful. Oh, this is a bit risky. So, yeah, I'm just fishing underneath there. And then down into there. Now, I did have a fish on just down here, uh, but it bit the tail of my white lure on that I was using. So, I've replaced it with the nice, kind of yellowy coloured one that I really like. Um, 
yeah, we're going to keep trying. We're going to keep giving it a go and see see how we get. I'm just going to work my way back. Now this is like um, the root, the root, the main river is behind me, up and over, and it runs like parallel like that way. And this is like it kind of goes around it like a shoe horse, you know, like round like that, and then joins back up about half a mile up the road. It's well, up the lake, up the river, I should say. Um, I, mean, I think it's more like for canal boats and stuff. Just it's lovely, lovely little area, but. They're starting to build what looks like loads of units and stuff up there. You see, you see that, which is a shame, but there you go, whatever. But I thought I'd just come out and give it a go, so yeah, man, let's get on it and see if I can catch some fish for you. I know I've just had a bite there, so that's promising. At least I know there's fish in here because it's literally just ripped the tail off my fish, <laughs> off my lure, I mean, so <laughs> that's quite funny. Um, yeah, we'll keep moving around and we'll keep giving it a go and see what happens. I forgot to say as well, I brought this with me, my little, my little box of tricks, all my little lures and stuff. Um, got a fair, fair amount in there I can use, so it just fits in my pocket. I've got my, my collapsible rod with, with the dodgy reel and the uh, dodgy ring, rod ring there. Uh, it's not a bad little outfit really, it's only cheap, a tenner. But it's collapsible and it fits in my glove box, so any time I fancy going fishing, like today, I'll just get it out and go fishing, it's great. A uh, bit disappointed with the reel, I'm going to have to replace that. I'll, I'll just use me, um, my, my reel I've got for me um, bigger rods and that, and we'll see how we get on. The structure, I was stood down there, I've just walked up here. Oh, what on earth is this for? It's massive concrete structure. Oi, 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 go on. It's a bit random. And there it goes and there's the main main river. It goes along. All the way along there. And all the way up there. This is actually wetlands. They call it the wetlands. Uh, I'm not sure why or whatever but Oh, and this is a bit extreme. Dogs chasing sheep will be shot. <laughs> or who? Alright. <laughs> There's a man waiting to pounce with a gun. Just in case. <laughs> that made me laugh. It's a bit extreme, but whatever. The Northampton washlands, okay? Um, just look around. It's not a later. I don't really know. What is it? Flood, floodlands and... Just a random bit of water in the middle there. I have actually walked around that just now, and there's no signs of life. But it does get a bit soggy out there. <laughs> Little Jack Pike, my first pike. Okay, let's let him down here. Oh, mate, my first pike. Calm down, calm down, calm down. 
down. So you get this lure out, you can run. It's not massive, guys. My first pike. It's a jack pike. Again, it's not massive. Oh, bollocks. Sorry. Kind of. Oh, look at him. It's a flipping predator, isn't he? Right, let's get back in the water. Whoa, straight away. <laughs> yes. Fish line. Oh, cool, man. Yes. Yes. Oh, that was cool. My first pike. All right, it was small. It was small, yeah, so what? Yes. Just caught him under this funny structure thing here. This thing here is seesaws, like, I mean, watch this. I was gonna rest my tripod on it, but I thought I'd better not. <laughs> um, I think it's just for mooring, obviously. And it goes, there's lots of rails, it just goes up and down with the height of the river, I guess. But how cool was that? Yes, guys. I hope you got that. I hope you got that. That was cool. Yes. Well chuffed. Let me show you the lure that does the damage. It's this lure, man. It's my favourite lure. I absolutely love it. It's just a bit tangled. Hold on. Just this little guy here. He's a bit bent. Hold on. He's a bit bent and buckled. <laughs> in fact, I think the pike has actually ripped him in half almost. Okay, well, that's him anyway. I'm gonna have to change him because the, po the pike is virtually bit him in half. That's the guy. Yeah, oh yeah, the pike's definitely ripped him up a bit. <laughs> that's cool, man, I'm really pleased with myself. I just, just thought I'd come out and have a little session and there I've just caught myself my first pike. Jack pike, yes, but still, any fish is welcome, any fish. No matter what size, I'm well pleased. Get in there, get in there. Right, I reckon I'm gonna carry on with this little spot here, see if I can get anything else. Yeah, let's carry on. Just missed what happened there. I meant to cast over to here, into this water, <laughs> just into here, from over there, and I've just basically completely messed it up and nearly took up. <laughs> I landed just here, like what a donor. Oh dear. You got to laugh, haven't you? You got to laugh. So what I'm doing is I'm just. <laughs> Give me a minute. <laughs> oh dear. So what I'm doing, I'm just trying to cover every section of the water, so over there, over there, over there, over there. I'll just work my way around until I've covered all, all, all the whole area, basically. I believe they call it fan casting. It's a pretty good idea, really. And I'm just letting it sink for a few seconds, and then I'm just popping it back. So, pop, like that, you know, just jigging it and retrieving it. Sometimes I do it quick, and then sometimes I slow it right down. Try and feel it hit the bottom, which I'm finding quite difficult if I'm completely honest. I mean, that's what I did over there, and that pipe just poof, smashed it. Good 
water. <laughs> Wicked. And he has absolutely gobbed that. Look at that, it's right down his chops. Okay. okay. Look at that. There you go, guys. Spill that for me. Look at that. Right, let's get the hook out. Oh, steady, steady. Spikes me the bugger. <laughs> he spikes me. God, he had the whole thing down his throat. Greedy bugger. I right, see that's exactly what I was doing. Just, just jigging it. Like slowly. That's awesome, isn't it, eh? Pike and a perch. See, this lure is wicked. I love this lure. I have to get some more from the tackle shop, I think. But this one, um, I did that video, that price comparison video, uh, which I thought was pretty good. I really enjoyed doing that. Um, the cheaper lures on which were half the price for a pack of six or whatever it was. I can't quite remember. It's okay, I've got a perch. I've got a customer. Oh, he's getting bit. Come on, take it. What do I do? What do I do? Do I keep moving it? Or because he's chasing it and hitting it? And then just swimming off? No. Oh, he's gone. What do I do? He kept hitting it and doof, doof, attacking it. Now, do I just treat it like a injured fish and just keep it still, or do I try and swim it away? Ah, oh, that's interesting. Let me know. Let me know what to do because that's interesting. I've never, never come across that before. I'm just gonna lower it down there. Just jig it back for me. Oh, this thing's making me feel seasick. Days. <laughs> well, throw up in a minute. Yes, as I said, he was swimming up to it and smacking it and then swimming off and then smacking and smacking it. Now, what do I do in that situation? Do I just um, let little move, don't, don't move it, keep it still, or do I just make it try and like, go away, like swim it away? Just keep like jigging it up and down like an injured fish. I don't know. Let me know. Let me know what you think. What is the best thing to do? I'll tell you what, now the sun's gone beyond them trees. It's a little bit cool. Wish I bought my hoodie. <laughs> Chilly. I'm on again, guys. Bear with. Jumping out of the water. Go on, son. Come on, look at him go. Come to me. A slightly bigger perch. Oh, this is a beautiful perch. Look at this guy. Put down there. Put down there. Snaked in the bushes. Look, come on. This guy. That is a nice looking perch. Hooked beautifully in the top lip. I love it when they put their back fin up, that dorsal fin, that top fin. He's got the stripes on him. Right, let's get him unhooked. Steady. Oh, that was decent. That was a nice looking fish. Oh, I love perch so much, man. This is awesome.
So two pike, no, sorry, one pike and uh, two perch. Fish on. <laughs> this is awesome. Fish on again, guys. Again, a lovely looking perch. The colours on him are fantastic. Absolutely fantastic colours on him. Not big, but still I'm catching the colours on them. The fins are bright orange. Ah, oh, I really do love catching these. I think they're fantastic. Right, let's get them unhooked. Come on, there you go. Calm down. Calm down, little fruit. I'm trying to help you out. Quality. There's just something about them I really like. I don't know what it is, but they just look so cool and just, I don't know, they just look mean, you know. I'm doing all right. I'm, I'm, I'm having a really good session. I'm having a great time. I had the water clarity is actually really good. You can see right to the bottom. Now, just down here, I had a you know, fairly good size one, hit it, but um, oh, it may. <laughs> I'll be honest, it made me jump <laughs> and, and I lifted it out the water, just almost like going into a strike and I think I took it away from him to be honest, but it made me jump. But I'm going to keep going down here because this is awesome. Try and see if I can get him to swim past the camera. Oh, there you go. Ooh. You see that? See him? That's about mid, I'd say about just there. Oh, 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 did you see that? Did you just see that? Tell me, I just caught that on camera. I was just jigging it. I mean, that there, that moving, that's... Yep, I'm getting fish attacking it. Oh, I'm on! Oh, I just pulled it off. Oh, no, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep trying there. <laughs> did you see that, guys? Okay, I did not mean for that. Wow, that's awesome. Oh, I hope that came out on the camera. I can't believe, I think I just pulled that straight out of his mouth. There you go, look, there he is, look, bopping about. So that's what I'm doing, basically, that sort of motion through the water. I'd say about there, about there is mid-water, and then it drops down about another two, three feet. And then, obviously, there is top water. Floating around. Oh, I hope that came out on camera. I really do, because... Looked like a big perch, and I think I just got excited and pulled him out straight out of his mouth. That's cool, isn't it? I mean, I just reviewed that footage, and that's clear as day, man. That pot, that perch. Oh. <laughs> but do you see what I mean? Like, what do I do when that happens? Now, because I mean, he had a couple of goes on it. I'm glad I got that on camera, that was really cool man. Tell me what you think to that. Make drop a comment and tell me what you think to that. That's cool, isn't it? They definitely like this lure. They definitely like this lure. I'm gonna get a few of these. I'll get on to wish to see if I can find some some of these yellow ones. Cause that is awesome. Oh, 
Oh, that would have been fish of the session, that would have been. That's, that looked like a big perch. So I'm just kind of casting under that bridge I just walked across. Because, again, I've heard many times that fish love structure. So I might give it a couple more casts into this little bit over here. See how we get on. But I'm getting I'm getting quite cold now. The sun's gone down going down pretty quick, so yeah, I'm gonna call it quits in a minute. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh God, pin me again. <laughs> I'm really pleased with that. Get in there. Well chuffed. I've had a great session. Just thought I'd finish work and give it a go. I'm really pleased. And that, that last bit there where you saw the fish attacking it with the water, I think that was brilliant. I'm, I'm really pleased I came out and gave it a go. Um, but I'm gonna call it quits now because I'm getting quite cold. Um, it does feel very chilly, it's getting to that time of year now. Um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Give, give us a thumbs up, uh, comment, like, and subscribe. That would be fantastic. And um, you know, just comment, Anything, whatever your opinions, I'd like to hear them, that'd be great. Um, I'd just like to say thank you for watching another episode of LRS. Thank you. <laughs>